All right, so this is the 2015, uh, sorry, 2013 incomplete type A. Um, straight, straightforward enough. The only thing to be aware of within this is that we are paying back the loan in equal installments, which is slightly different than most of the other ones I've seen. So just to, the jobs to get done to, to get nice, easy marks, uh, I would suggest getting in the, uh, the capital at the first of the first. So E. Kelly purchased the business for uh, 205000 So that's going to be your capital. So uh, capital on the first of the first. So it'll be capital and reserves is the heading. So um, give yourself a load of room in this. The last question I did, I ran out of space in the current assets. So just make sure you've loads of room for all of them when you're laying it out. Don't be afraid to do it over two pages. Um, maybe go as far as your total net assets on one page and it's fine that's fine the top of the second page in your living cert. Um, anyway, capital first of the first is the amount you pay for the business, which is 205,000. I would also get in everything at the bottom of the question. So I've got my stock. So uh, the closing stock is 15.5, including stock of oil of 500. So closing stock is 15,000 and stock of oil is 500. And then I'm going to put in that 15,000 into my trading profit and loss account because it's an area where you could put in 15.5 later on by mistake. So just make sure you're only putting in the 15,000. Uh, debtor 16.6. Uh, creditors 14.3. Um, which is liability cash 550 is an asset and electricity due 640 is a liability okay now you've seen in certainly more recent questions you've had to adjust creditors and stock so just be aware you might have to change those numbers okay part one the first thing you do then is calculate the goodwill of the business so you've bought the business for 205 it's not going to be it's it's probably worth less than that in assets and liabilities terms so it's it's uh its purchase price is 205 and its value is the assets minus the liabilities so you've got 174 stock of 14.3 their assets debtors 14,000 is an asset Insurance prepaid four thirty is an asset. Uh, creditors minus seventeen two in effect because it's a liability and wages due is a liability. Okay, so the value of your business is one eight four three thirty. So the difference between those two is your goodwill. Uh, Twenty thousand six hundred seven. Okay, so we'll get that in, uh, into up at the top. Twenty six seven. All right. So uh, from there, then you'd start at the top and work your way down. Sorry. So you've got your premises first of all, which you know is a fixed asset. So premises is one seven four here. Now you go down and see you'll always buy an extension or do something with the loan. So he borrowed seventy two thousand to buy purchasing a general warehouse costing sixty. So the premises is one seven four plus sixty. Now I've already checked there's no depreciation in this question, so I'm gonna put them so two three four zero. And two, three, four. Um, so that's our premises. Stock is our opening stock. So 14, three. Uh, debtors is our sign to do our sales working. Okay, so that'll be our first one. So we've got our sales, and sales is made up of credit sales and cash sales. 
uh, our credit sales is our debtors. So we sell goods to debtors. So we go down and see how much money we've uh, received from debtors. We have received 32,000. However, of that, 14,000 is due last year. And 16.6 is to do with the uh, uh, is debtors at the end of the year that's still outstanding. So in effect, our credit sales are 32,000 minus 14 plus 16.6. That's 34.6. Our cash sales, now I showed you a little guide to this in the last one, which is 2020 DB video. Um, our cash sales is basically all of our cash payments so all of our cash payments are 94,000 plus 22,5 plus 51,000. These numbers here. Okay, the three of them. You have to add in your cash drawings. So the cash drawings is 60 a week. So it's 3120. Uh, and then you have to add in your cash balance at the end of the year of 550. If there was a cash balance at the start of the year, you would take it away. Uh, there's not in this case. So that's always the same process. Cash payments plus, ca plus cash drawings uh, plus your cash balance at the end of the year minus a cash balance at the start of the year. which is 171170. Uh, so you add the two of those together. And you get 205770 as our sales. Okay. So that's uh, premises, stock and debtors done. Next one is insurance prepaid, 430. Now, uh, so insurance, go down and see if it's prepaid, well, there's more than likely going to be insurance in the main part of the question. Uh, so insurance is, uh, will be in our bank payments and you pay 3,000 and it's an annual insurance, so that's for 12 months. Okay, we always add on the prepaids at the start of the year because they are to do with this year. That's 4.30 to be added on. And we'll take away our prepaid at the end of the year. Um, and that'll be if you have three months prepaid at the start of the year, you'll have to have three months prepaid at the end of the year. So it's going to be three twelfths of 3,000. So three twelfths of that number there, which is, uh, which is uh, 750. Okay, so your expense then for the year is 2680. So your insurance expense 2680, and really important at this point to remember to put in your 750 uh, current asset here, your insurance prepaid. Okay, so that's your uh, that's uh, that's your insurance working done. So your next one is your trade creditors. So your trade creditors is assigned to do your purchases working. So again, we've credit and cash and we follow the same process as the sales for the credit. This time though, looking at creditors. So we have made payments to creditors amounting to uh, uh, 34,200. However, of those 17 to are from last year so the creditors owed at the start of the year and then we've creditors outstanding that we haven't paid yet of 14.3 at the end of the year so that'll give us yeah uh, that'll give us credit purchases of 14.3 now the cash purchases is given to us so you'll see here cash purchases is 51,000 and that gives us then our total purchases of 82.3. From those, 
there will always be stock drawings and you must take away stock drawings from purchases. So the stock drawings is uh, 80 a week. So 80 by 52, which is 4160. So your purchases figure is going to be. Uh, sorry, I should have taken that away. 78140. Now, I've already had two drawings, so I'm going to open up my drawings working now. And just any time I come across drawings, I'm going to put stuff in. So we had our cash drawings of uh, 3120. And we had our uh, stock drawings of 4160. I'll just keep that one taken over as we go. Okay, uh, so that's our purchases. Uh, wages due. Now wages ties in with general expenses. So I'm going to go up to my expenses. There was no wages due at the bottom of the year. So wages due of 1200. If they're due at the start of the year, that means they are due with last year. So we're going to take them away from our general expenses. So it's going to, we're going to take 1200 away from the 22,500. that's 21,300. And you'll see in some marketing schemes that include the college fees and all that and the general expenses. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that gets us to the top part is done. The middle part then, lodgements is contra entry, so we don't do anything with that. That's already in. General expenses, 22,500. We've done that. Purchases, we've done. So equipment is next, 30,000. Now, We've bought new equipment from 30,000. There was no equipment at the start. And we just checked that none of the equipment is for drawings. And you'd also check that there's no depreciation. I checked at the start of the question on the depreciation. Um, and there wasn't. So that equipment can go straight in for, uh, for 30,000. Thirty thousand value there. Uh, next one is creditors. I've done that. Uh, light and heat is my next working. So I haven't uh, we haven't done light and heat yet. So we'll do that now. So our light and heat working uh, starts off at four six. Now we know from the bottom of the question there's a stock of oil. You always take away stocks, closing stocks. So we're going to take away that 500 from the bottom. And most of the time, there's light and heat due at the bottom, or electricity due, which there is. So we're going to add on that electricity due. And the electricity due is 640. So that will give us a light and heat used, or light and heat in effect as an expense of 4740. Now, with all of our expenses, we check for drawings. And there's pretty much always light and heat drawings. So um light and heat use so 25 percent of it should be for the private section so less drawings 25 percent which is 1185 i'm going to put that in straight away into my drawings working And then my answer will be uh, 3555 for my light and heat as an expense. So 3555, I put that into our expenditure. So that's that done. Uh, interest. Now I'm going to come back with the interest always to be, uh, do that when I do my loan. Um, my insurance is done. Uh, standing order for charitable or, uh, organization. That's my covenant. And that's can go in. That's never going to be anything due or prepaid on that because it's a standing order. Uh, vehicle 32,000. That's an asset. Uh, and again, just a no drawings on it can't really be drawings on it but you check that it could of course be depreciation 
but as I said, I read through the question at the start and there was no depreciation, so that's all right. Um, and rent for one year, 22.8. Now, just if you're working on the rent, there always is. So we go down and see what it says about the rent. Uh, the figure for rent was in respect of adjoining building rented by Kelly on the 1st of the 8th. So the rent for the year is 22.8. Now, we do the drawings part first. So it, it was payable in advance. Kelly estimated that half of the building was for a private residence. So I'm gonna take away my drawings first. So half of it, which is 11.4, is for the private section of the business. So 11.4 will, will go into my drawings. Okay, so that gives us the rent that's for the uh, gives us the rent that's for the um, for our part of the business for the business part of the business. So that's the the business element. Now then it tells us that it tells us with the rent that uh, it was rented on the first of the eighth so eight nine ten eleven twelve so five months are for this year so we're going to find five twelve to that which is four seven five oh and that's your expense the rest then must be rent prepaid or seven twelves So that's going to be your uh, rent prepaid, which is an asset. So 4750 in is your expense. And as I said, what was uh, 6650 as your current asset? So you've paid them in advance, it's owed back to you. Excuse me. Okay, so that's rent done. That's tricky enough one. So do your drawings part first, and then what's left is your is your business expense, and then split it up into rent and rent prepaid. Uh, debtors is done. Cash is done. Dividends three six. That's always capital introduced. Whatever the third one is, there it could be dividends. Uh, it could say capital introduced. It was one year. It said prize bonds one or something. It's money you're lodging into the business bank account, so it's capital. So we're just left really with our loan, loan interest um, and our bank to do. So Ke Kelly borrowed 72,000. Now you're, I'm gonna say the loan is 72,000 for a minute till we see how he repays it. So the loan is 72,000. At that point, go down and see how he's repaying it. If it's by investment fund, the full amount will go into the finance buy. If it's by installments, some will go in finance by some will go in rent and uh into your creditors falling due within one year so in this case he's he's being repaid in 12 equal installments over a six-year period it doesn't really matter that it's 12 equal installments it's that it's over a six-year period so within one year he's paying back one-sixth of the loan so he's paying back uh one-sixth of seventy-two thousand, which is twelve thousand. So there's a loan installment due within one year of 12,000. So 72,000 divided by six. Okay, so of the loan, it's commencing on the 1st of January, 2013. We're doing the accounts for the end of 2012. Within one year, one sixth of the loan is falling due. So it will have to be paid. So 12,000 of it falls due. In this case, it's seven, uh, the, what falls due after one year. So after uh, 12 months from now, there's still going to be 60,000 outstanding. So it still adds up to 72,000. It's just that some of it is falling due within one year. The remainder is falling due after one year. Okay, and that's that done. It doesn't affect the interest. So we'll work out the loan interest. So the loan interest is uh, he's borrowing the money at the rate of 10% per annum. So it's going to be 10% of the loan, which is 72,000. 
he got the loan on the uh, first of the seventh. So he has the loan for six months. So for me, that'll be 3,600. Now of the loan interest, he has already paid, or that was the one I skipped, 2,400. So the loan interest due is 1,200. I'm gonna put that in now before I go any further. So loan interest due, 1,200. And we'll hope that's the last of our liabilities. Okay. Now, what about the loan as an expense? Well, it's 3,600. And with all of our expenses, we go down and check if there's any drawings. Uh, it was payable and that's 25% of the line he used. It should be for the private section. So uh, none of the loan is for the private section, which is... Uh, which is grand. If it was, we would take that 3,600 and split it up. So the 3,600 is our, uh, is our business expense. Okay, so 3,600 is going into our expenses. That leaves us then, we'll just make sure we have the rest of it in. Should only have one more working to do which will be our bank working. So we've done the loan, we've done the rent, we've done the drawings. Um, we have put everything in at the bottom. So we're just left with our bank working to do. So I'll just add up my drawings and I'm gonna get them in now in a minute. So 19865. Uh, So remember, that's a, a minus. So uh, I'm going to do my bank working. So my bank working is to find out how much we've in the bank at the end of the year. So to do that, we put in all of our bank lodgings. So all of our bank uh, bank lodgings are the 32,000, 94,000, and the 3,600. That's what we've lodged in. Okay. We'll put in all of our bank payments. So we've paid out 30,000. 342. Uh, 46. 24. Uh, 3,000. Standing order 25. Uh, the vehicle 32,000. Uh, rent for one year of 22.8. So that's all of the money we've lodged in, all the money we've paid. We've also lodged in a loan. So we put in the 72,000 and we use that 72,000 to buy a building of 60,000. Okay, uh, the last one that could go in if uh, it's not in this question, but if you were repaying the loan in by transferring money to an investment fund, the transfers to the investment would also go in. So hopefully, now I would always suggest, by the way, you add up, you double check these and add them up because there's a lot of things to be added. It's easy enough to make a mistake in your calculator. So that's 201,600. So this side has to be 201,600 once we put in the bank balance. Assuming it's a, it's a, a positive. So we take the two hundred one six hundred, and we're going to take away all of the, the numbers on this side, and we get ten thousand one hundred as our bank balance. Okay, and our bank balance is a current asset. So that's everything in. If we've done it right, uh, it'll balance. So. Our cost of sales, 77.4, which we'll take away from our sales to get 128.330. There's nothing to add on. So there's no, there's no uh, investment. So there's no investment income. 
lot of our expenses. And hopefully we've got them all in. 38385. Can't really have left anything out if you take your time with it and um and start at the top and work your way to the bottom. So that's our net profit, which I'm going to put in 89945. I'm going to put that in straight away. So that brings me over to my balance sheet. I'm going to add up to the, to, to the good habits of adding up all of my uh, my cost and depreciation lines as well. Um, because otherwise we lose a mark. There's no investment to add back on. So just goodwill plus tangible fixed assets. Add up your current assets. You see there's loads of them, so make sure you've left space. Add up your current liabilities. Take them away from each other. And add on your answer. So it's 338680. So hopefully, I've run this right. So we've got 60,000 of a loan with capital and reserves of 278680. Add them together, 338680. So that's our capital employed. So there we go. That's our uh, our question finished. So it's quite straightforward. Just the installments there and the rent are, I suppose, the two little tricky parts of that. Okay, lads, uh, talk to you again.